Hey guys, welcome back to Nextgen Blog. And in this video, I want to show you how you can animate an ellipse object with clock wipe transition in VSCC Free Video Editor. Now, it's actually super easy to animate an ellipse object with clock wipe transition in VSCC. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, to demonstrate this, first I would like to add a rectangle object on top of the screen. And so to do that, go to add object, select rectangle and then click on OK. Now mark your rectangle object on top of the screen like this and then click on this option, which is set the same size as the parent has. Now I would like to change the color inside the rectangle. Currently the color is white, so I would like to change that. So to change the color inside the rectangle, look inside the rectangle object settings, which is present inside the properties window. And below you will find this color option present. So I already have the values of the color which I want. So let me just directly write those values inside this color field. So the values are 20, semicolon 30, semicolon 51. And now let me just press enter. Perfect. Now next I would like to reduce the duration of this rectangle object in the timeline. So currently the duration of this rectangle object is 10 seconds. So let me just reduce this from 10 seconds to 2 seconds. So write 02.000 inside the duration option and press enter. All right. Now the next thing which we will do is we will add an ellipse object on top of the screen. And so to do that, go to add object, select ellipse and then click on OK. Now mark your ellipse object on top of the screen like this. And I would like to adjust the width and height of this ellipse object to 700 pixels. So to adjust the width and height, look inside the coordinates section which is present inside the properties window and right here you will find the width and height option so inside the width option write 700 and then press enter and inside the height option write 700 once again and press enter now let's center align this ellipse so first click on horizontal align center and then click on vertical align center Perfect. Now I would like to change the color inside this ellipse object. So to change the color, once again, look inside the ellipse object settings and right here below, you will find this color option. So I already have the values of the color, which I want inside this particular ellipse object. So let me just directly write those values. So the values are 229 semicolon. 110 semicolon 132 and now press enter perfect now i would also like to reduce the duration of this ellipse object in the timeline so currently the duration of this ellipse object is two seconds so let me just reduce it to one second 700 millisecond so inside the duration option write 01 point seven zero zero and then press enter and as you can see 300 milliseconds have been cut now shift this ellipse object to the right like this perfect and what we will do next is we will double click on this ellipse object and now we will add the clock wipe transition so go to video effects go to transitions select wipe and then click on OK. Now currently the duration of this wipe transition is 500 milliseconds, but I would like this wipe transition to cover the entire ellipse object. So let me just increase the duration of this wipe transition from 500 milliseconds to one second, 700 millisecond. And now look inside the wipe settings, which is present inside the properties window. Type is set to door. So change this from door to clock. Inside mode, bottom to top, counterclockwise is selected. So change this to top to bottom, clockwise. 
select top to bottom clockwise and directly set to false so change this from false to true and inside gradient length currently the value is 50 percent so delete this value and write zero and then press enter perfect and so now if i just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start this is how things are looking right now perfect now the next thing which we will do is we will add a second ellipse object so go to add object select ellipse and then click on ok now mark your second ellipse object on top of the screen like this and the width and height of this second ellipse object should be 600 pixels so once again look inside the coordinates section which is present inside the properties window inside width inside width write 600 and then press enter and inside height write 600 once again and then press enter now center align this second ellipse object so first click on horizontal align center and then click on vertical align center now change the color of this second ellipse object so look inside the ellipse object settings right here you will find this color option so let me just directly write the values of the color which i have selected for this second ellipse object so the values are 160 semicolon 90 semicolon 116 and now press enter perfect now you need to reduce the duration of this second ellipse object from two seconds to one second 800 millisecond so insert the duration option write 01.800 and then press enter and as you can see 200 milliseconds have been cut so now shift this second ellipse object to the right like this perfect and now double click on the second ellipse object and go to video effects go to transitions select wipe and then click on ok increase the duration of this wipe transition like this and look inside the wipe settings type is already set to clock mode is top to bottom clockwise so that's fine directly set to false so change this from false to true gradient length is already set to zero percent perfect and so now if i just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start so this is how things are looking right now perfect now we will add our third ellipse object so go to add object once again select ellipse and then click on ok now mark your third ellipse object on top of the screen like this and the width and height of this third ellipse object will be 500 pixels so look inside the coordinates section once again inside width write 500 and then press enter inside height write 500 once again and then press enter now center align this third ellipse object so first click on horizontal align center and then click on vertical align center now i would like to change the color inside this third ellipse object so look inside the ellipse object settings right here you will find this color option i have the coordinates with me of the color which i have selected for this third ellipse object so let me just write that 254 semicolon 252 semicolon 229 and now let me just press enter perfect and i would like to reduce the duration of this third ellipse object to one second 900 millisecond so currently the duration of this third ellipse object is two seconds so let me just change that to one second 900 millisecond and then press enter as you can see 100 millisecond have been cut and now place this third ellipse object to the right like this perfect 
Now double click on this third ellipse object and we will add our clockwise transition. So go to video effects, go to transitions, select wipe and then click on OK. Now increase the duration of this wipe transition so that it covers the entire ellipse object so that it covers the duration of this entire ellipse object and now look inside the wipe settings type is clock mode is top to bottom clockwise directly set to false so change this from false to true perfect and so now if i just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start so this is how things are looking right now perfect and finally we will add our fourth and final ellipse object so go to add object select ellipse and then click on ok now mark your fourth ellipse object on top of the screen like this and um, the width and height of this fourth ellipse object will be 400 pixels so inside width write 400 and then press enter inside height write 400 once again and then press enter center align this ellipse object this fourth ellipse object so first click on horizontal align center and then click on vertical align center and um, we will change the color inside this fourth ellipse object so look inside the ellipse object settings and below you will find this color option so i already have the values of the color which i want inside this fourth ellipse object so let me just directly write the values of that color so the values are 229 semicolon 110 semicolon 132 and now press enter perfect now double click on this fourth ellipse object and go to video effects go to transitions select wipe and then click on ok now extend the wipe transition to cover the entire duration of this fourth ellipse object and um, look inside the wipe settings type is set to clock mode is top to bottom clockwise directly set to false so change this from false to true and that's it so now if i just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start perfect one thing which you can do further is at the end i would like to i would like to um, cut my wipe transition a little bit so that the ending is clearly visible so right now um, the duration of the wipe transition is two seconds so let me just reduce this to one second 600 millisecond and let me just go back to the main editing timeline double click on this second ellipse object and um, let me just decrease the duration of this wipe transition to one second 600 millisecond perfect now double click on the third ellipse object and decrease the duration of this wipe transition to one second 600 millisecond and finally double click on the fourth ellipse object and decrease the duration of this wipe transition to one second 600 millisecond perfect and so now if i just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start so this is how you can animate an ellipse object with clockwise transition in VSTC free video editor. Do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then thanks for watching.